Meet Helen. She's your English teacher. She's always ready and happy to teach. Helen wants you to be fluent in English. Let's begin lesson number one with the words have, has, had. Let's start with the basics. They can both be used to show possession and are important in making the perfect tenses. Had is the past tense of both, has and have. The word have. Have is used with some pronouns and plural nouns. Examples. I have a great English teacher. Tengo un excelente profesor de inglés. You have toothpaste on your chin. Tienes pasta de dientes en la barbilla. We have a meeting at 12 noon. Tenemos una reunión a las 12 del mediodía. Nurses have a difficult job. Las enfermeras tienen un trabajo difícil. Has this used with the third person singular? She, he, it. El has se usa con la tercera persona singular. She, he, it. She has a great personality. Ella tiene una gran personalidad. He has a new haircut. Él tiene un nuevo corte de pelo. The washing machine has a leak in it. La lavadora tiene una fuga. It has a hole near the door. Tiene un agujero cerca de la puerta. Contractions. I have, I've. You have, you've. We have, we've. They have, they've. Negative contractions. Has not, hasn't. Have not, haven't. Had not, hadn't. Sentences with had. Tom has had a bad week. Tom ha tenido una mala semana. We had a wonderful time. Tuvimos un rato maravilloso. I had a healthy breakfast. Tuve un desayuno saludable. We've had a lot of rain this year. Hemos tenido mucha lluvia este año. Nancy had never seen before a giant panda. Nancy nunca había visto antes una panda gigante. I've had a lot of calls today. He recibido muchas llamadas hoy. You had plenty of time. Tuviste mucho tiempo. Thank you for watching. See you soon.